When you're on your reset or you're, you're stuck somewhere for a little while, you got a question of mobility, right? Like you want to go check out the town, you want to go to a restaurant, you want to go do some shopping, but you don't want to call a cab, that's expensive. And maybe you want to have some fun, you know, go for a ride or something. We got contacted by a, a company that sent us some equipment and we want to share that with you. It's a high boy. You ever heard of a high boy? My name is Kevin. I'm a solo driver for Crete and you're watching the joy of trucking. We were parked in St. George, Utah at a truck stop one day and there was a Werner truck next to us and this guy had, had this uh, electric scooter strapped to the back of his sleeper and he says he parks his truck there all the time and jumps on this scooter and goes buzzing all over the place. When these people contacted us, I was, I was kind of excited. I'd like to see what this thing is and what it can do for us and how we can use it when we're out there on the road. Looks like we have the High Boy Max Pro electric scooter. And from what I've been reading, this is their best one. This, this thing comes in at 51 pounds. It's got a range of like 45 miles. It'll take a 15% grade. It's, uh, it's got a really cool light package. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to opening this here box. Check the description for a link to High Boy and also for a discount code that we got for the viewers of The Joy of Trucking. Yay! like we got a lot of styrofoam handlebars let's see if I can get this out of here in one piece I'm put it down I could help you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You got it. You got it. <laughs> okay, so you can get it out on your own. Just it's a little, doable. <laughs> little awkward looking. Maybe younger guys wouldn't have such a hard time. You know. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna look really young and hip with this thing, hon. Old guys rule. So this thing, first of all, there's a yeah, there's a kickstand. I don't have to hold it up. The uh, the stem folds. It should clip on right there. There's the handlebars. So I'll have to put those on. And it's got pneumatic tires. They're big too. They're like 11 inches. There's a front suspension. So your front forks telescope and a rear suspension, but it's like the, the hidden shocks on my soft tail. They're up underneath, right? Let's see. Can you see them? There's your charging port. And you got these light bars. So you got you got a headlight, you got a tail light, and then you got this light bar on the side of the deck. So it looks really cool when you're driving in the dark and good illumination, right? So you don't get hit. <laughs> so uh, let's put it together. Let's not cut our fingers off. Like I got some screws to put in there. A little bit more stuff on here. All 
All right. How's it look? Looks really good. Yeah. You got a front and rear brake and the throttle here, and then your display is up here. And when you're uh, when you're ready to hit the road, put it away. This folds down. There's a clip right here. Oh, and it's like a carrying handle. Look at that. Oh, you can work out with it too. I can do some. Yeah. <laughs> Multi-tool. Yeah. All right. That's sharp looking. Yeah, let's see what else we got in here. Now that I've destroyed the box. A couple of extra inner tubes, because they are pneumatic tires. So two spare tubes. You got wrenches and screws. It looks like extensions for the, uh, for the valves on the tires. So it's easier to fill them. Little reflectors. This is the charger. Charge it up. And an instruction book. I love those. <laughs> yeah, you All right. love those af after the fact, usually. Let me, <laughs> let me finish putting it together there. Yeah. tire gauge. See the green, red, and yellow? You just pop it in there and tells you if your tires are at the right inflation. And three wrenches. Valve caps. Valve extension. And there's the screws for the stem. I'm going to put those on first. Right there. I'm putting in, looks like eight screws that holds the handlebars on the stem. And they're countersunk screws that will sit flat, so they should align everything themselves once you get them in. You see there's the headlight right there. Eh? I believe this model has regenerative braking too, so when you when you hit the brakes, you're actually putting power back into the battery. Oh, that's nice. I was watching a video last night on how to ride these things. And apparently it's common to fall off them. <laughs> so I'm gonna be wearing a helmet. Got my bicycle helmet. I wonder if I should get some elbow pads too. But uh, when you're uh, when you're braking, if you if you're you have to do like an emergency stop, uh, whatever the situation, somebody pulls out in front of you or there's an obstacle that suddenly appears. Pretty common to fly over the handlebars. The back wheel starts to lift off the ground, you reach the tipping point, and it's ass over tea kettle. So, something I learned from all that watching those videos, you actually lean back and squat a little bit when you're if you're braking hard. So your center of gravity is back, right? And you should do some some practice stopping to figure out how much. Uh, pressure to put on the front and the back brake, right? So use, you know, with like with a car, 
most of your braking is with the front wheels because that's where the weight is. And as you're stopping, the weight goes there. And if you brake too much at the back, you can actually start to skid, right? So you wouldn't want to jackknife this puppy. <laughs> but uh, also your stance is very important. You don't want to stand with your feet side by side. You want one foot forward, one foot toward the back, and kind of turned a little bit sideways. So that gives you better balance, better, better uh, control when you're accelerating too and braking. Let's get this in here. Get a little stiff here. And I think this is the model that holds the most weight too, isn't it? Because uh, they have a lot of different models. They also have electric bicycles. But I think this was the one that looked the most sturdy and holds the most weight this, this, and the longest battery power. It has the, uh, the longest range and the best suspension. Mm -hmm. With the pneumatic tires and the front and rear suspension, it's, uh, it's a smooth ride. And there's three speed settings, so you can go like, like granny, or you can go like, like oh, they call it eco. <laughs> so Not going, granny. <laughs> you're going slow, but the battery lasts a lot longer. And then there's regular, you know. So as you got, you know, different speeds give you different performance, but also different economy. So when you're in uh, the top setting, you can reach 22 miles an hour with this thing. Sounds a little scary to me. Because I've fallen off motorcycles and bicycles, and I don't want to do that again. I thought it was more than that. Couldn't it, isn't this the one that can go like 60 or 50 no, or something? No, no. 22 miles an hour is the top speed. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, what was I and reading? That's plenty. I mean, look, there's, there's nothing to protect you here. <laughs> Not even a windshield. <laughs> <laughs> well, your motorcycle doesn't have a windshield either. <laughs> but think of this when you're when you're stuck somewhere doing your 34. Pull this puppy out, jump on, and, and you can go to town, right? Yeah, you can go shopping, you can go out to eat, oh, you can go really exploring. Cool. Oh, should we read this? It says power on, short press. So there's one button that controls everything, and this is your display too. So power it on, a short press. Turn. Uh, the lights on and off, short press once. So all these lights come on with, with the same button. And then switching modes. So if you're in eco mode or, or regular mode or sport, you know, racing mode, you, you just press it twice to go maybe, to the mode maybe selection. Maybe leave that there for now so you don't Well, no, don't I got to see the display. <laughs> Let's see what happens. There, Ooh. look at that. There's your speed. There's the battery. Looks like it's three quarters full. And we're in S. Slowpoke? Sport. Super. There's the lights. Look at Oh. Even in the daytime, look at these lights. Ooh. Holy smokes. Got the tail light, running boards, and the headlight. Wow. And now I'm in eco mode. See, it switches to eco. Drive. And sport, so this is the fastest. I'm gonna leave it there. I want to shut these lights off. I just shut the whole thing off, holding it steady like that. Turned it on. Lights are off. Eco mode. Da -da -da -da. So I'm not I'm not gonna go for a long ride or anything. Because what I want to do is plug it in and charge it, give it a good long charge to make sure it's hundred percent. But I do want to just see what happens when I pull the trigger. And we're on grass here. Apparently these things, this model, because of, because of the size of the tires and everything, this model is okay to take off the pavement. You know, I, like I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't go on heavy trails and bounce it off rocks and stuff like that, but it should be okay on the grass here. All right, time for a test drive. Let's see. Power's on, it's in eco, so it'll go nice and slow. That's the throttle, nothing's happening. I think because you need a kickstart. 
<laughs> Look at you go! miles an hour out of it. <laughs> that's well, great. That's going to be fun. A little scary. <laughs> I need a helmet. Oh, let's see. Woo! All right. <laughs> that's the bell. It's not quite an air horn. That's, that's my air horn. <laughs> okay, we're going to we're going to charge it up and play with it a while and there will be a review video coming up later. Stay tuned for more on the High Boy Max Pro. Give us a thumbs up. I hope you like this video and comments down below. I know some of you out there have alternate transport that you carry on your trucks. I saw a guy with a with a motorcycle strapped to the back of his uh, <laughs> to the back of his sleeper, and he had extra plates back there and everything in front of the fifth wheel. That's impressive. So uh, yeah, thumbs up. Comments down below. Hit the subscribe button. Ring the notification bell so you'll know when the next video is coming up. And I'll see you down the road. Bye for now. Remember to check the description for the High Boy link and also for that discount code for the viewers of The Joy of Trucking. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. And by the way, Kevin's having a lot of fun with this scooter. <laughs> Bye. Woo! Sidewalk surfing.